Hi everyone, it was so good to see you and all of your favourite toys when we had our Teams call. I have brought one of my favourite things today. So I really love reading and lots of you in our call said you really love animals. So I thought, oh, I know the perfect book that I need to share with new year one Lulu class. It is called What to Do If an Elephant Stands on Your Foot. What would you do if a huge elephant stood on your foot? Here we can see the gigantic elephant. If an elephant stands on your foot, keep calm. Panicking will only startle it. Yow! Never mind, these things happen. In the event of startling an elephant, you will probably feel like running away rather quickly. Ah! Once a tiger has spotted you, you must stay silent. The slightest sound, such as a sneeze, a chew! Oh dear! As I was singing, making the slightest sound, and a rhinoceros will hear you. If a rhinoceros has heard you, whatever do you do? <gasps> do not be tempted to climb a tree. Oh, for goodness sake, go ahead then, if you must, but don't say I didn't warn you. <gasps> He's about to climb the tree. Oh no, the rhinoceros is coming. The tiger's coming. See, snakes live in trees and they do not take kindly to visitors. Having found yourself in a snake's tree, take a few deep breaths and steady yourself. Okay, we should feel calmer now. That's it. Now sit tight and try not to make any sudden movements. Sit still. Like that one, you ninny. Sudden movements do not go unnoticed by crocodiles. Everyone knows that. And look at the crocodile. He's watching him and he's licking his lips. The elephant's still coming, the tiger's still coming, the rhinoceros is still coming, the snake's there. Oh my goodness. Honestly, you're hopeless. If you've been noticed by your crocodile, don't expect me to help you. Please. <gasps> Do you think someone will help? Oh, all right then. Since you asked so nicely, Wave your arms around and shout for help. Help! Help! There he is shouting. Is it working? Yes! Here come the monkeys. Of course, now that the monkeys have arrived, there's only one thing to do. Go nuts! Jump up and down, run around and around, sing and shout and dance and swing. Have a banana. Can you see the monkeys going crazy? And finally, before you return to your nice, safe home, away from all of the animals, remember your manners. Thank the monkeys for rescuing you and don't forget to apologise to the elephant. Just be careful not to... Hey, sorry! Startle it! Oh my goodness, and there's the elephant! All upset again! I hope you all enjoyed my favourite animal book and I look forward to sharing lots more books together in year one. Have a lovely day. Bye.